we are silent witness of the mercy and the grace and the suffering, the cruelty of Christ Jesus. We are a silent witness of what will take place in our hearts as we participate in what took place in the heart of Christ and of all of Jerusalem. Hear this reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 19. On Good Friday, Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged, and the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they dressed him in a purple robe. They kept coming up to him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and striking him on the face. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which is in Hebrew called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side. With Jesus between them, Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross, and it read, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription, and because of the place where Jesus was crucified, it was near the city, it was also written in Hebrew and in Latin and Greek. Then the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write King of the Jews, but this man claims to be King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What has been written has been written. Let's pray together, please. O Lord, our hearts today are gray and somber because of the events of this day. The rain and the clouds simply are a reflection of who we are and how we feel ourselves in God's kingdom. The darkness of this day is because of the death of our Savior, Christ Jesus. The darkness in our hearts for us is a symbol of our loss. O Lord, be present with us. Walk with us. Let us be a quiet silent reminder for all those who see us, join us, and in their hearts enter into this day of Good Friday, a day of darkness and gloom. Hear our prayer in Christ's name. Amen.